Um, shoot, a lot of things. I think one of the things that uh, definitely was on my radar was the fact that uh, Rob called was the first call. Um, I think that matters. Um, obviously, I had history in Dallas. And there were several other teams that you know acquired as well, but it really came down to those two. Um, looking at the team setup and the ability of Pops to come in and make an impact and, and try to help the team win a championship, um, being home, I mean, the childhood dream come true. There's, there's a lot that comes, goes into that, but uh, you know, re really having a chance to, to help the team win and, and, and like I said, it's just a, it's a special place. Whether it's Darvin or Rob, what have they told you about what your role would be for this team? Um, I mean, get downhill, provide rim pressure. Uh, you know, point of attack defense, also wing defense, depending upon the lineups. Um, switchability there. Uh, just come in, be aggressive, set a tone, play with high IQ. Um, remember, in this situation, it's about like plugging in more so than, you know, like dominating per se, right? So that, that's the mentality. So there's a moment where the Lakers social compost and you would decide to lock them in. They had the jersey there for him, too. Yeah. What was that like seeing in your Lakers jersey? Yeah, so actually the funny part, I was just telling uh, Lakers social this, it really hit home, uh, not so much when I saw the jersey with uh, in the locker, but he had put it on and he was like running down the corridor and I was behind him and I was looking at Dinwiddie 26 and I was like, oh, man, like, it's real, you feel me? Like, and, and, and for your son to be the reason why you feel it's real, like, it, that, was, that was a really special moment. How have you viewed the Lakers from afar like, this year? Coming off a of Western Conference Finals appearance, yeah. they win the in-season tournament. Since early December, haven't looked quite as good, but they're starting to kind of rise again. Just, what's your view of them as an outsider? I mean, you kind of you kind of led me into that. <laughs> I mean, essentially, you're seeing a team that, when everything's on the line, they can rise to a level that you know no other team uh, can 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 get to. Obviously, one in-season tournament, have played big-time basketball the past several years. Um, obviously, sometimes it's hard to maintain that, you know what I'm saying, throughout a whole season, but at the end of the day, they know how to win. Um, that, that's what you know. Every every night, they're going to get somebody's best shot just because of the name that's on the front of the uniform. And then, obviously, you have arguably the greatest player of all time uh, on the floor as well. So then a lot of people are going to give him, personally, their best shot as well. Is there any story behind the contract bonus you're going to get if the Lakers win a championship? Yeah, so in, in my last deal, there was a series of bonuses tied to uh, winning and stuff like that. Um, one of those being the dollar uh, championship bonus. Uh, a lot of people thought it was kind of funny at the time to sign to the Wizards. Um, but me and uh, Grushan basically made a deal that we were going to keep it in whatever deal that I signed, if possible, uh, going forward. And it's kind of like a just the thing that me and him bond over. It's just that now I'm actually on a team that has championship aspirations. So people are like, why the hell would you do a dollar? But it has more so to do with the tie between me and my agent uh, than, than anything actually monetarily. So to you in Dallas, with an all-time isolation player. Uh, this team has some really good isolation players. Yeah. Uh, how do you think that experience will help you kind of fit in the ball dominant kind of guards, whether it's Ron and Austin awesome and Tyson? Yes. Yeah. Um, Luke is one of the best players, if not the best player to date that I've played with. Um, you know, he, he got us so many open looks. Uh, I thrived in catch two situations uh, in, in large part because of him. Um, and so, you know, uh, a lot of credit there. Like, being being one of my specialties, but then also shooting, like, very open looks was, was great. I um, mean, obviously, I get to, like I said, play arguably the greatest player of all time. And, and if I'm in that position to catch you open shots, uh, I have confidence I'm knocking down as I have throughout my career. And so, you know, that'll definitely help me. Obviously, uh, the thing that I haven't done well in my career is shoot, you know, like, off the dribble contested, like, like poor shot quality threes. Um, and in some situations, I've been forced to do some of that. Um, in, in higher percentage than good looks, right? And so it, it affected overall percentage and sometimes it becomes a misnomer. So the better quality looks and, and the more uh, good quality looks versus bad quality looks, I have the utmost confidence in being a big time shot maker for this team. Well, Steve has been in need of uh, some perimeter defense. How do you feel fit in on that? Uh, you know, just being 6'6", six, six, athletic, you know, uh, willing to do whatever it takes to win. Understand it, obviously, uh, we got Brian, AD, carrying a lot of the offensive load, and, and that's where they're going to need a, a, a lot of my effort. And so, you know, I'm going to go out there and look to provide them. First of all, Spencer, is this the, is this the, the uh, cut, the welcome home cut? Because you got me nervous at first with the mustache. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, you know, basically, it got to a point where my mom said, 
you know, come on now, you're gonna be a Laker. Can you just uh, at least clean it up? And I told her I wasn't cutting my hair off, um, but I promised her I'd clean it up. And, and if you know me, my mom has a lot of uh, a sway on uh, some decisions that I make. So that that's the, the inspiration for this. And then two, um, the playmaking. You guys yep. run, they run a lot of high splits, guard to guard yep. screens. Bron also is is a role man sometimes. How do you feel like your playmaking could fit along with that? Because you've averaged like six assists over the last like couple of years too as well yeah. with your playmaking. Yep. Oh yeah, no, uh, low turnover guy. Uh, pretty pretty good with the assists and whatnot. And and obviously if somebody's open, I'm gonna try to find him. Uh, basically when I'm playing basketball, I'm trying to look for the best play uh, available for the first like, let's call it 16 seconds in the shot clock. And then if it gets under eight, it's kind of like all bets are off. Um, obviously we hope to always have a good shot, good possession. And if that involves me passing, like I'm, I'm more than willing to do so. I know you've always had a chip on your shoulders, but what is the significance, do you still feel that way Oh man, uh, for my family, it's, it's, it's big time, right? Like, everybody in the house is Laker fans. I mean, obviously, like, cousins and shoot, people from high school, all that. Like, it's it's the whole nine, right? Like, my, my mom and dad, I pretty much cried to, to, well, my mom, not my dad, but basically, it was a, it was a very emotional moment uh, for them, just from the fan standpoint. Um, sorry, what was the first part of that question? Oh, Chum Short? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for me, I mean, you gotta remember, like, when my high school career started, you know, it was up and down between David and varsity. Then it was, you know, not being ranked high, even though I signed to a, you know, Pac-12 school. And then, you know, even after almost being Pac-12 freshman year to Tony Roden, who had a very much better year than, sorry, very clearly better year than I did, so I was second, but he deserved it. I'm not saying he didn't. Um, you know, still wasn't, you know, super heralded. You know, by the time I got really kind of any type of notoriety or anything like that, it was my junior year. And uh, going into my junior year, it was pretty much guaranteed that I was going to get drafted. I told my ACL. So, you know, then I had to be a second round pick and not play in Detroit, fight through that, get to Brooklyn, like average 20 points a game, get ready to get paid again, tear my ACL again. You know what I'm saying? And so every time um, I, I've, I've been met with different, um, you know, hardships. And, and right now, obviously, there was different things said about me on, on my exit and things like that. And so, you know, I'm, not, I'm accustomed to uh, facing adversity and, you know, uh, turning things around and, and staying focused and, and kind of looking down the, the gun barrel and still being able to do what you need to do. On, fr on Friday, had you, oh, I'm sorry. had you made up your mind um, by the time you got to the game? No. What was Friday like? What did you see? What did you see that helped tip your decision? Um, I mean, that, that's a lot. I mean, it was like a five and a half hour flight. And I spent most of that flight talking to, you know, my parents who were on the plane with me, um, one of my friends. So, you know, we were working through all the different pieces. We were like, okay, you know, if we get there and the vibe seems cool. And, you know, obviously got to talk to D-Lo, got to talk to Tori, got to talk to C. Wood, you know, people that have played with Rui, you know, and Rui's excitement to see me, that felt good. You know, just things of that nature. Because um, obviously it's a new situation. Um, whereas, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'll give y'all something funny that I told, told my people because I'm fairly candid. Um, the two situations kind of felt like this, right? Let's say you were a kid and you got your ass whooped by the bully. Dallas would have been like your mama being like, it's okay, baby, don't worry about it. Lakers are like, your dad, now nah, you better go out there and, and fight till you win. You feel me? <laughs> and I just felt like that was what I needed at the time, you feel me? So um, I'm a big believer in kind of doing what you need to do at whatever time it is, and so that's how I thought about it. She would wanted the credit for the uh, for bringing you here. So you brought up Rui, you brought up a lot of teammates. She would wants the credit, but who are we giving the credit to? Was it a team? Was it a team thing? And hell, we gonna give C Wood the credit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what are we doing? Look, C hey, look, C Wood was a powerful. I'm giving the credit to Bron. Yeah, I'm here to